Hello, everybody. Welcome to 48 Hours Football. I'm Carl. I'm sure. <laughs> I didn't know it was starting. <laughs> and this is our Premier League prediction review and reaction. It's because not looking good, man. It's not looking good, man. <laughs> it's not looking good. I think I make big problem. Think I make big, big wrong, big wrong thing. What? We've let everybody else <laughs> do their thing. <laughs> We've seen everybody's because we are compiling a Premier League. Prediction inception to see who amongst the YouTube world for football and for the Premier League have got the best predictions and who was the closest. That video is coming up in the next few days. Now, we're going to go from the bottom to top. We're going to make it a little bit faster, a little bit better than uh, than some we've seen because, raw they can go like 30 minutes. We're not going to do that. We're going to bring it to you in less than 15. Okay? So, from the bottom to the top. Sean, uh, you had in 20th... In 19th and in 18th place, who? Luton. Yeah. Who I said would get less than nine points. Mm -hmm. And in the second half of the season, got less than nine points. Horrible take. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> uh, you want to hear a horrible take? Uh, Bournemouth, 19. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Why are they doing so good? Who Lost is so it? many points on that Who one. is Iraola? <laughs> and why is he doing so good? <laughs> and then 18th, Sheffield United, who came last. So I've got two of the relegations, right? I said in 20th, Luton. Then I said 19th Sheffield United, and I said Nottingham Forest in 18th place. And they were one place away. One place in 17th. Speaking of Forest in 17th. Yeah. I got that right. Yeah, you got a spot on well done. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the best in the world at predicting things. Um, <laughs> 16th Burnley. Yeah. Ooh, 18th. You did not, not do. Not too not bad. Not too bad, not too good. I thought company would, you know, be a bit better. Mm -hmm. The whole school of pep and that. Yeah. But uh, no, he's useless. 15th, I had West Ham, and... Uh, Shocker that, that finished one. ninth. Shocker that one. <laughs> Miles away. Ouch. <laughs> in 17, I had Wolves. Not great. Yeah. Bad for me. I mean, not as bad as West Ham. I didn't see Gary O'Neill just pull in an absolute blinder for him. He didn't. Cunha did. Huh? He didn't pull anything. Cunha I mean, pulled them out of the relegation. He aimed his own. He aimed Cunha, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, Pedro Neto started the season. Ho! <laughs> yeah. He was on fire. He was. I then said Everton, uh, followed by Burnley. Now... Everton, I weren't far off. It was one point off. Where did Everton finish? 15th? Yeah, I was one off there for Everton. Um, not so much Burnley. Didn't see them going straight back down. Um, it's very rare for all three teams to just go straight back down. I mean, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, they're just not good. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I didn't see Burnley's team and go, oh yeah, that's awful. I would also like to point out, can you tell the difference between our... Premier League prediction video in this one because that was our first ever video on 48 hours it was class that was in the old like house we had no soundproofing the audio was trash it's the best video we've ever made I mean <laughs> I'll hear nothing else I got a whole 25 views <laughs> all me look where we are <laughs> oh, you're just watching it again and again alright go on then who's next uh, 14th I had Wolves yep which uh, a bit close to where they actually finished mm. exactly where they finished actually yeah you got a zero <laughs> Well done. I, I was wondering when you were going to get that. Spot on, boy. Can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, 13th had Everton, yeah. and without the point deduction, they would have been 13th. Yeah, well, and Wolves would have been lower, mm -hmm. but uh, that's fine. And uh, uh, if only I predicted differently. 12th, I had Fulham. Huh. And they finished 13th. Not, was they, uh, Very not sad. far off. Not far off getting some points on the board. Who would you have? Good sir. Please tell me who you had. Okay, for me. Mm -hmm. It's giving, doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I had Bournemouth next, then West Ham, and then Fulham. So I was much closer with West Ham than you. Pretty sure I was, I was almost spot on with Fulham. I was one point away from Fulham. Uh, Bournemouth, not so close. Bournemouth did do quite well toward I the end. I got them further away. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was two away from Bournemouth. Bournemouth's team sucks. <laughs> yeah, that take of yours wasn't the best. I can't believe they... Finished. Where did they finish? 12. 12. I cannot believe that. Semenya and Solanke, mate. That's the. Solanke that's it. is awful. Everyone else in their whole team was desperately trying to get him relegated, but Semenya and Solanke. Did so people good. were upset Solanke didn't get picked to go to the Euros. <laughs> what? No. And no. I cannot believe that's even a conversation. No. What? No. That's uh, that's that's not a good But dude's got a cool <laughs> celebration now. Yeah, he so does. He's got to keep scoring. Mm -hmm. Brentford. Yep. And uh, if Tony came back and was actually good, that would have worked. That would have worked. He was pants. Didn't. 10th, uh, Brighton. Yep. Who were 11th. Mm -hmm. Ouch! Not far off. And uh, ninth Spurs. They only got pushed down because obviously we started flying straight back up at the end. So yeah. your own team did you dirty there, mate? Ninth Spurs. Yeah, that's Which, horrible. That was a that was a vengeance pick because Ange, <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Yeah, we didn't fair. see that. And 
I'm sorry, but second half of the season, he got found out. Yeah, he did, yeah. Everyone found out where he was They sucked about. second half of the He's season. He's not going to do great next year if he doesn't change something up. If they didn't have Pedro Porro, they'd be ninth. <laughs> <laughs> I had Palace in 11th. And I think it was one off again. Yep. So Palace in 11th. Then I said Brentford. And then I said Brighton. Got none of them right. Bro has zero correct scores so far. <laughs> I don't know where Brentford was on there. Was they, oh, Ryan, right, 16. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was miles away with Brentford. I thought they'd have a much better season. But like you sort of semi-suggested, with, I think we'll be more accurate next year. <laughs> First half without Tony, I was like, okay, they'll be awful. Yeah. And then they were better than the, when they had Tony. Mm. And it was, I'm very sad. And then I put Brighton, and obviously Brighton were pushed down. Where did Brighton get pushed down? Brighton were then pushed down to 11th. So, you know, but... Well, they could only beat Man United. So. Yeah. That's what it is. And Robert, Robert De Zerbi got found out as well, second half season. The well, whole season. Whole season. This season, he was just like... Yeah, last season, he was literally... Average manager. Last yeah. season, everyone was like, oh, he's the best manager in the world. <laughs> Eighth, I had Palace. Okay. And I believe, you believe, you believe I believed in, in Eze, Elise. Yeah. Didn't know Mateta was going to come out of the woodwork and just... You needed their new manager to come in. Yeah, Brock Glasner. They were clapping everyone. Glasner. Brock Glasner, F5 in everyone. Great. You're welcome. So I should have laughed at that, but it just was fun. Just laugh now. I'll let it in. <laughs> <laughs> Seventh, I had Villa. Yeah. Who embarrassed me. Yeah, shocking, yeah. I can never get Villa right. No. There's one season I got 15 places. Villa fans can get Villa right. There's one season I got like 10 places bang on. Yeah. And I got Villa the cor- like perfectly opposite end of the table. Yeah. Like, like 15th when you wanted to be third. Yeah. <laughs> but I cannot predict Villa. They don't make any... Next season, they'll finish like 60. No, you, you, you can't <laughs> sleep on Unai Emery. You know what oh, doing. I can big time. You can't. You should dude, dude, Dude's an absolute failure. And who was sick then? Um, new, new asshole. Yeah. Spurs in eighth. Uh, slightly prejudiced. But again, I didn't see Ange working out. He worked out. If you'd have given him three or four more games, work. he probably would have finished eighth. not work out. Yeah, he tried. Um, I then put Villa. Yeah. So I didn't see that. But one point, one, one sort of place ahead of you. And then I put Newcastle as well in sixth. Fifth, I had Chelsea. Yeah, for a, for a solid one game, I thought we could do. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tottenham let us down. And Tottenham had Sheffield United. And, yeah, Ooh, I'm at Hotsich. Who <laughs> draft fifth? Fifth, I had Manchester United. Oh, so they did even worse than I had assumed they would. I didn't think they'd sleep on Europe, but they didn't even finish in Europe's spot. It was only because they won the FA Cup. I think they get to sneak in, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So that's cheekier than finishing eighth. I mean, Ten Hag. Ten Hag going to stay for you? One hundred percent. You got to keep. He finished that. He's bald. Well, they they can't need to, get rid of bald managers. They need Jesus, and obviously they reached out to Branthwaite. What did they say, Sean? For one hundred thirty million. One hundred thirty million for a mediocre centre back. He's bet. young and he's English. Yeah. If you sign him now, he'll be able to play in Europe without <laughs> being a complication to the. If uh, Ferguson was there, they would have only wanted like thirty million. I had Arsenal in fourth. Oh, shocker. That's where they should have finished because the amount of last minute winners they scored. Say shocker. I had Arsenal in fourth. Didn't see him double in the second place. No, because they just they just don't look that good. I but don't even care. Full bottle this league. Rice came in and they looked phenomenal. Yeah. There was a four-game period they scored 15 goals. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay. It's like you're actually something. Yeah. And then end of the season comes in and it's like, Man City could overtake you. Yeah, Villa killed their season, mate. And then Man City went, okay, we, uh, Newcastle killed their season. Newcastle that, and Villa. That, lost, that VAR against Newcastle where the ball didn't <laughs> go out. Yeah. That ended their year. Yeah, that was done. Champions League, finished. Man City are a different animal when it comes to the last, like, ten games. Like, they just did not lose a single game. No it, draws, no nothing. I feel like if it was it, no quarter, no holds barred, demo- demolition. I feel like if it's ever in the question that Man City could overtake someone and be first, yeah. they'll just do it. Yeah, just for the just for They the could be 30 points behind with 11 games. They're literally left. trying to give everyone the bigger and bigger head start every year just to see if they can do it. It's I mean, just Arsenal, disrespect. Had, Arsenal had four points in April yeah. with two games. Disrespect. I've got City, but... Yeah, City having those games in hand probably put the pressure straight onto Arsenal. Uh, speaking of City... Speaking uh, of City... I had them third. You know, I had Chelsea third. That's embarrassing. I can't believe you put City That's third. That's embarrassing. We were 14th. You thought they were going to... Fl- we were... Yeah, we City were. City were third for most of the season. We finished sixth. <laughs> City were third for most of the yeah, season. Yeah, I know. But here we are. Man City Largest just majority of the season, what position they were in, was third. <laughs> but where did they finish? First. First, exactly. Ouch. Second place, we've got the same. Liverpool. Yeah, I thought they'd do better. We weren't far but, you know, One re- point away. Rebuilding your whole team and your manager saying he's going to leave at the end yeah. of the year, halfway through the year. It's uh, hard to deal with. Because the only team he hasn't yet mentioned is... Manchester United. I thought they had it in them. 
Yeah. Embarrassing. I was in my 2008 mind. You thought Mason really. Mount was going to be the reason I they won the league. A midfield of Casemiro, Mason Mount, and Bruno Fernandez was undeniable. Mm -hmm. With a live wire of a striker, no one knows anything about that could be really good. Who didn't score for like two hundred hours? Yeah, he yeah. took a while to score, and then he was their top goal scorer. Uh, Scott McTominay was their best midfielder somehow, mm -hmm. and uh, Anthony. What's the point? Uh, I didn't expect Sancho to just abandon United, no, what? or the manager to abandon Sancho, mm -hmm. and then the defense just fell apart, and they were playing Casemiro and Johnny Evans, and they got Amrabat. Yeah, Amrabat was a. Uh, <laughs> He's quite something. It's a poor he? choice. I didn't think they'd finish. Cost him a Manchester derby. I didn't think they'd win the league because of Amrabat. Yeah, I know. He, I, he, he came in in January. I anyway. thought he'd be, oh, he's a good backup. That yeah. could solidify them finishing top. Mm. <laughs> no, he just made them finish lower. Absolutely not. But they won the FA Cup, got Europe. So Johnny Evans. Best, the their their best defender. <laughs> Yeah, that says everything you need to know and obviously i said man city that's the video guys that's our predictions and we're going to get the next ones on we're also going to predict the euros we're going to get all that good stuff we've just dropped a video as well about enzo maresca go and watch that one as well hit a like hit a subscribe drop the comments in there and as always we'll see you in the next video sure if you like the video like the video see you later i'm a frog man